to drop. Rudolph's going to be so bad at himself for dropping that football because receivers, you never know when your chance is going to come. Then finally, you get open. They call a play where you're the, the primary guy. It's right there, and you drop it. Well, don't get down on yourself. Stay up. The football will come your way again. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Number 15, makes the reception. This will be a field goal attempt from 33 yards out. Converts on the three. Well, that's how the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. And the tackle is made right around the 32-yard line. The Falcons now will start their drive at the 32. Under center. First and ten. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. Falcons from the 32. Play action. Lions going to scramble. Looking long to Julio Jones. And Munner will nearly pick off that throw. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Third and ten. Keeps it here. Jones got the catch and the first. The Falcons, one timeout remaining. They come to the line, and it's first down. Ryan's got it in the gun. It's Douglas, and Douglas is brought down. The Falcons will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. And now, getting set for a 56-yard field goal. kick is good the kick is good from downtown okay. Jim they get the field goal at that time and it keeps the momentum on their side it's positive energy it makes you feel good now we'll see if the defense can carry it on Falcons getting ready to kick it off makes the catch at the seven made the offense will start their drive from about the 31 the first half is over and we'll be back with our first half analysis in just a moment all right welcome to the verizon halftime report let's take a look back at the first half the vikings had a great passing game going last week and it's been more of the same today the falcons are finding out firsthand they'll have to deal with this passing attack if they want to win all right let's get straight to it here's some highlights from the first half falcons on offense early in the first ryan's got to complete the pass and that connection will lead to a gain of 29 yards same drive jackson's gonna shift out to the right side and he'll go in for the score that puts them up by a touchdown down to late in the second. Ryan's got the connection on the slant, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to their own 46-yard line. So that's it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to Viking Stadium for the start of the second half. Patterson's not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. First down on the way. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Peterson's tackled down at the 24. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, 
but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Vikings have it at the 24, and they are in on Peterson. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Simpson's lined up now as a slot receiver. The Vikings from the 27. It's right. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The Vikings did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get it up, but what does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today it's been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that will give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Second down here after that run play. Nickel formation for the defense here. And off, out of the eye formation. Tough situation you found yourself in. Third and long, you're losing the football game. There are not many plays here that are going to pick up the first down. So be careful here. Don't be too aggressive. If you're too aggressive, you will make a mistake. Hassel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And incomplete. What a hit that time. Well, you're down. It's in the first half. You got fourth and long near midfield. This is a no-brainer. I think the coach, don't even think about it. Send that punting team in there. Put the football in play field position. Falcons offense now coming out. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down and 10. Jackson's got it on the handoff. Brought down at the 20. Boy, there's nothing like a draw play. It just catches the defense by surprise. And running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. It's a two tight end formation. Second and six. Keeps his legs moving. Catch made near the sideline. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. First and ten. Jackson's taking the handoff. Tackles made. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The Falcons snap it at the 36. Another handoff right back to him. Third down on the way. Jackson's lined up in a single back formation. Just a quick drop back. Out of the pocket, looking to the right side and throwing. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. That's awesome. Every time you pick up a first down, what does that do? It shortens the game and also keeps your defense on the sideline, and they get the, get rested up and ready for their turn. But you got to lead here. It's a small one in the second half. Keep getting those first downs. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. That'll be second and four after the running play. 
An extra tight end on the field for this one. The final quarter begins with this snap. Looking ahead, the Vikings will be on the road in Green Bay next week, while the Falcons will be on the road in New York. Now looking at third down. Jackson and a run right up the middle. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Falcons snap it at the 41. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Big moment in this football game. Fourth and short in the second half. You're winning. You gamble by going for it. In a situation like this, it fails. Now you hope your defense can bail you out. Castle standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. The defense gets the sack. I don't know if they were confused or not, but the left side of the offensive line that time, they were not aggressive. They got pushed back, and they give up a sack of the quarterback. The Vikings will take the snap from the 35. Catch made, and he's brought down right at the 42. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and nine. Finds his mark. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. A miserable place to start this next drive. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. Falcons lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Jackson's had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. And Munnell nearly picked off that throw. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. Third down and ten. He's scrambling now. Jones has got it. And a first. Two minutes to go in the second half. First down here. Here's the first snap after the big play. Gives it to Steven Jackson. That'll stop the play right there. No surprise. They immediately call the timeout. It's now second down. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. Still got it after the play action. Eyeing that left side. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. The give. Greenways, the one who brings him to the ground. That's a timeout call. Second and four following the run. The jumbo set on the field. Another carry here. Taken down a yard short of the first. Now third and short following the run. He 
defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That was a good call by the offensive coach that time. They needed one first down to win this game to seal things up. He makes the right call, and they get a big first down. Second down coming up. Nickel formation here for the defense. What's this one mean to the players and coaches to pull this one out of the end? Anytime you win a close game in the NFL, uh, Jim, you need to do that about three or four times a year to make a difference in what you're trying to accomplish. And that is going to the playoffs. This is a big step uh, going in that direction. This truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's matchup features a couple of big targets who will be looking to get open in the middle of the field. It's the Giants going up against the Falcons. Now we'll head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week five matchup. Falcons, Giants on EA Sports as we get set for today's Week 5 matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before a kickoff is what do you expect here today? You know, Jim, I expect these coaches to be aggressive. You can't go out here and just hope the other team makes mistakes. you got to go out there and take it. So do it with your play calling. You know, try some trick plays. Do whatever you have to do to give your team the edge. As we go to the field, it's Devin Hester back deep for the kickoff. 
And Josh Brown looks set now to kick it away. the 20 and tackled at the 21. Lions marching onto the field now. He finished up last week with a quarterback rating of about 80. Split backfield here. Lions back in shotgun formation. Pulls it in. And Rodgers is stopped there. Second down here. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. They go draw, middle. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Yeah, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense is going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. They bring him down at the 41-yard line. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. Matt Ryan under center. Second down, three for the first. Looking across the middle, knocked away, incomplete. They come to the line on third down. They did an excellent job of executing in these spots last week. Wide receivers are bunched up. Toss played to Rodgers. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. A running back must always know the situations. Third and short, don't be looking to break it outside and go for the big run. Get the first down so the offense can stay on the field. Nice job. Now first and ten. Reaches out and grabs it. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. You know, when you throw the football like... down the field you pick up a first down now you can do anything you want on the offensive side and you got that defense guessing they're going back up top gets away from the pressure brings it in along the sideline well a couple things on that play of course it's a nice job by the quarterback getting out of trouble and throwing the football on run and getting the completion but how about the defense? Quit being greased. Stay in your rush lanes and don't let the quarterback get out. That's an interception. And he's brought to the ground. Manning's coming out now. He does not turn over the football very often. In fact, he ranks in the top ten right now for fewest interceptions thrown. First and ten, handoff made for a gain of about five. Second down coming up. The reception, easy, wide open. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities the Giants come out two tight ends on the field the Giants take it from the 23 nice tackle that was a power running play that time by the offense it picked up some good yards nothing like it show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards the Giants are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation Second and four. And he's taken down. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time he collapsed on his left side. There's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. 
Eli Manning takes it from the gun. He's looking to the right. He Man intercepted. He stacked up at that point. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Empty backfield look for Ryan here. First down at the 35. Now on the move. Almost intercepted. Well, the defense has to be suppressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, Man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Scrambling now. Ryan over to Jones. You know, as a quarterback, you don't have to be, like, extremely fast and make plays like this. When you get forced out of the pocket, you need good footwork to get out there, get in position, nice throw down the field. First down at the 22. Will go ground. He's brought to a halt. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. This next play will be run from inside the 20, and a week ago, they were sensational inside the red zone. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Then picks up about three. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Matt Ryan under center. Third and five. Scrambling out of the pocket. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Well, quarterbacks know on third down, they got to make a decision to get rid of that football because the defense, they are coming at. That time, just not good enough, and he throws an incompletion. The kick is good. Well, Jim, that field goal puts him in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense, and what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. a touchback and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down here. And Jennings lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Manning into coverage that time and incomplete. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. The Giants have to be hoping this doesn't turn out like last week's game. Tough luck losers a week ago and trailing in another tight one right now, Phil. We're going to find out if they learned anything from last week's tight loss. And Jim, when you get in situations like this, it's about making that one play that gives your team a good chance to win. Third and a long way to go. And it's going to be dropped for the sack. And they're going to be punting after a short series. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Any time on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Matt Ryan will be taking this one from the gun. He'll take the snap from the gun. And now Ryan's going to take off. It's Douglas. Amukamara is in on the tackle. Hard to play man to man against such a quality receiver. You got to mix up the coverage. You play straight man to man, you're going to give up a lot of completion. First down and 10. Toss play. Is in on the tackle. And here we have second down. The Falcons come to the line with a bunch set. Still powering ahead. 
runs to daylight for the touchdown. touchdown down down down. Well, when the offense goes in there and scores again to increase their lead, it's got to give a lot of confidence to the defense. Now can they go out there and do 